Hey guys, this is Jamal with Gospel Musicians coming at you. And as we keep increasing, moving away from uh, our other platform, once again, I want to give a shout out to the UVI uh, workstation, the you guys at UVI. They gave me my first big shot. Uh, uh, contact as well. They gave me my first big shot to launch my libraries. We have progressed and God has been blessing to where we're to the point where we have our own architecture, our own code. We can do whatever we want. So I want to thank UVI for giving me the opportunity to have all my libraries over there. Appreciate you guys. All right. So let's get started. The TGX99, this is the SY99 slash SY77. Um, this is the, the keyboard. If you look at Jodeci and you look at all of their live um, playing, they use this keyboard. So this is a very popular keyboard. Let's get all of the housekeeping out of the way. If you don't want this housekeeping, you want to get to the demos, then I recommend that you just go straight to the, uh, the timeline. So we have the chapter markers there. All right, so let's get this going. So TGX 99, SY99, Yamaha SY77. We have all of the factory presets. It's uh, it's not for UVI. It's our own GM synthesizer. So, you know, no more of the iLock, no more of the downloading, the UFS and, and all that other stuff. So don't get confused. A lot of people are still going that route. So don't do that. Windows 10 uh, plus OS X 10.12 and higher. It's for the iPad as well. Just like with all the other apps, we have a standalone version and we have the pure synth platinum version. The pure, pure synth platinum version allows you to un unlock it inside of pure synth free player. So that's our free player. And then, uh, we have the standalone version right here, which is the beautiful, you know, uh, um, they call it skew morphic or new morphic, which looks like the hardware. And I think it's cool. So we, we were trying to get away from that, but people, musicians were artists. So that's very, uh, nostalgic to us to have our own version of the synthesizer sitting there waiting, looking like the synthesizer and to pull it up. I understand. So we're bringing it to you. Um, the concept behind our miniature synthesizers are, is, no, it doesn't have the FM synthesis. No, it doesn't have FDSP. No, it's not a, a mimic. No, you can't take your patches over. If you are a guy who remembers the keyboard and you love the keyboard or a guy that always wanted to purchase the keyboard but just didn't want to purchase it uh, secondhand, this is the closest thing to it, okay? We believe that still, uh, no matter how long has been sample libraries are the way to go to get the exact sound. So um, just as a side note, if you want, people keep asking, how come these guys don't produce a, 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 an exact model of the SY99 and make it a, a 500 kilobits to download and all this stuff? The reason is, if, if you want the truth, in order for me to mimic an SY99 with the A advanced FM synthesis, all of their filters, all of their effects, to mimic the whole thing going forward, it would probably take me two years. That's two years straight R&D work to mimic it. Now, it would probably take, you, take me maybe six months to just get maybe just the filtering and the amp section and stuff like that. But the problem is, is the cost justification. If I spend that much time making a synth that's exactly like the other one, I'm going to have to charge you like three or 400. And then you're going to say it's too expensive. So this is the best we got, okay? All right. So um, iOS people, same exact samples, same exact size. Our mindset for the iOS is that we wanted to bring desktop level quality to the iOS, in order for us to bring desktop quality to the iOS, the samples have to be big. So if you want smaller samples, it's really it's really just basic math. You want small samples, small samples, lower quality. You want higher samples, higher quality. We opted to bring desktop quality synthesis, desktop quality um, over to the iOS. So what we added is that you can connect an external SSD and you won't have to bog down your entire device with all of the samples, okay? Uh, there's no cross grades between the um, Pure Synth Platinum and the desktop. Uh, storing sounds on external SSD, you already know about that. Now, the differences between version one and the new GM platform. So version one is the UVI, the UFS in the in the UVI platform 
Ours is our own particular system, our own architecture, a general, just a, a, a regular serial number that you just enter, you know, um, you know, everything else here you can see with all of our, uh, um, with all of our preset system, you can export presets, you can import presets. So uh, that's one of the big changes uh, with our system is the, the, the flexibility to uh, have your presets in the preset browser. So it's right there, you know, instead of having the other folder. So without further ado, TGX 99, SY 99, we have the SY 99 and the SY 77 presets. Let's give you an overview of the interface. The interface looks exactly like an SY99. You have the volume sliders here. You got the edit. You got the effects. You got the utility. Man, this looks good. You got. I, I even. <laughs> I even included the the little bit of writing here, and I mean, this is really skeuomorphic. I think this is probably my best skeuomorphic looking uh, interface. Uh, you have all of the different sections, the amp, the control, the mod, the filter, the LFO, everything like that. Uh, okay, so this is what you got to know. Internal one and internal two is, so preset bank one, preset bank two are the actual SY99 presets. Internal one and internal two are the SY77 presets. So you can see this here when I go to voices and I switch back and forth. You can see, um, can I make this bigger? Let me see. Yeah, you can see I can basically go between the presets. And then when I go internal, it goes to the um, uh, SY99. So uh, internal, internal two, preset, preset two. But it doesn't follow it here, so let me take that out. But if I go internal, and then we'll do SY99. And then we do internal two, which is S the second. And then we do preset one, SY99, and then preset two. Yeah, so that's how that works. I said that uh, the wrong way. So we got internal, SY99, S99, 99, user. And so there we go. All right, so without further ado, um, let's get to the actual presets. Okay. All right, so... SY99, bank A, obviously the piano. That was sample based. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's it's the piano's okay. Uh, actually, the piano's pretty good if you're doing shouting stuff. It's a good shouting piano. All right, so string layer with the piano. And then here's that classic really big. Notice when I hit the. That's reminiscent of a SY99, the expression. actually very similar to that sticky EP sound. This is as classic as it gets. That's, I mean, come on. That's the, yep, and then, uh, woo, warm, that joke is warm, woo, Oh, 
that's nice. Ah, uh, this is a classic. Their EPs were absolutely the best. Um, this is another one that's a clip. It's amazing that I can still remember like having this and the presets that I actually use. Jodice. Yeah, that's that Jodice. So um another one. <laughs> Oh, this is definitely the one they used. Yeah, that's this is the one they actually use. Yeah, that's the one they actually use. So, clavinets. Uh, let's move through here a little bit more. I'm just going to really go, go over stuff that I remember that kind of stuck out. This one definitely sticks out for me. It's a pad. Yeah, that's one that sticks out. This one sticks out as well. Sounds like a D50. This is actually um, this is actually a modern sound. They actually use this now for especially intros and commercials. Just a, I think this was a one that I recognized too. Uh, ooh, that's warm. Ah. Uh, Anytime you say crystals, I'm in. Because crystals are. That's nice. One thing about crystal sounds and bell sounds, you want it to sound analog and high pitched at the same time, which is hard to do. But because of the A to D converters of the SY99, they pulled it off. So you see how it's high pitched, but it's not piercing? It's also the analog gear that we use. All right, anyway, Twinkles, Warm Jet, you know, I like those pads. Got that reverb on there too. So let me see. Oh, the brass. I use this definitely at the at the gospel choir. Not this one. It was this one. This one too. I use both of these. The strings actually sound pretty realistic. Not this one. These octaves. Yeah, 
Yeah, the strings are not bad at all. Somebody asked me, what does mushy pads sound like? <laughs> mushy pads are like, it's when it's um, mushy strings and mushy pads is when it has like almost an analog overtone to a realistic string feel. Silky, that's a better. Yes, that's the chord. That's the chord. Woo! 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 Anyway, I, pads is my thing. That's my thing. These are not mushy. <laughs> but pads are my thing. The pit, pizzicatos, very realistic. All right, all right. Let me just, uh, if you heard one bell, you heard them. Oh, these strings are great. These strings are great. I'll leave that D out of there. Ah, oh. ah, oh, I use this, I use these. But I don't keep that much uh, release off on that. I know Gospel Cats, we gotta adjust that LFO. I know. Uh, music box, yeah. Kind of detuned a little bit. All right, drum kits. All right, uh, all right. I'm, I'm going through a lot of stuff here. Um, you know what? Guitars. These are plucks. I think the PL stands for plucks. Obviously, here's some leads. This is classic. Um, basses. That DX type. That bass. Ooh, fat. Organs. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. All right. Oh, these are my favorites. The Emmy. Um, these are like the effects. Yeah. 
time you say dream, I'm in. So now we're to the SY77, and um, Always had good, uh, good French horns. All right, y'all, you get the point. Um, let me see if I see some other stuff in here. That's uh, It's basically a way for you to own ice. Nice. It's just a way for you to own the synth. You don't have to get on Reverb or eBay. It's a good way to get a uh, a very good. And it's more inspiration. When you can pull up an SY99, you can pull up an SY85, you can pull up an EX5 and just look for inspiration. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. Uh, I think we're good here. Let me just look and see. There's any other, uh, their guitars have always been good. Uh, silk strings. I always liked that. They're silk, but not mushy. Obi strings. All right. So, this is Gospel Musicians coming at you. Um, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. like that so anyway this is gospel musicians coming at you with the tgx 99 um it is now uh obviously we have our sales so it's on sale and it's happened to be black friday so we want to appreciate you guys for just you know supporting us all this time and uh we'll be coming back with some more stuff so tgx 99 gospel musicians coming at you <laughs> 